Hello everyone, and welcome back to MC Eternal. We are in the single player world once more, and I did a little bit of learning as to how to get the uh, the space base working. Um, from my understandings, we, were, we pretty much had it. We, we were very close. All we need extra is um, another CO2 scrubber. So another one of these guys, uh, which I think we just needed the fan for. We might need to make another motor. I'm not too sure. We'll see in a second. Um, yeah, we need one more motor. Um... We can probably just get away with doing a normal motor because I don't think you get any benefits from using a, a specific motor uh, because it's just turned into a single block as opposed to a, a multi-block. So let's have a look here. Motor. We need some copper uh, coils. Boom, boom. Um, so this episode, we'll get the space thing up and running. And then, yeah, that'll be it for now. Oops, I didn't actually build the thing. Um, next episode, possibly this one. I'm not too sure yet. Um, I want to actually start remodeling my base in terms of moving things around and trying to get us a better frame rate. <laughs> that's, that's my main goal. Um, so I believe this door is our space base because as you can see, we are chugging away quite a lot. Um, what we could do this episode once we get this set up because it should be pretty simple. Um, so my understanding is we need to have these in the base. So let's see. Um, let's pick this up. Let's pick this up. I don't think we actually need this electrolyzer. We can keep it here though. Uh, I don't think there's anything uh, necessarily wrong with, with keeping it here. Um, basically, we want it to be like a... How, how could we do this? I guess we could have it on this side. We could have this a really narrow uh, corridor. Uh, so we place our oxygen vent here. This guy obviously needs power, so we'll have to run some uh, some cables down. Oop, we do not want to put the cables there. Um, we want to place the CO2 scrubbers on either side of it, like so. And we'll actually need another block to put in here. And I, it's called a cartridge. It's a carbon cartridge. What's it called? Carbon collection cartridge. So we need one of these guys. Um, iron sheets? Ooh. So we got to put iron plates in a rolling machine. Okay. It shouldn't be too hard. Um... Let's also go out here and clean this up a bit. Um, so, how do we want to do this? I guess we can just have it... Let's break this glass, and we'll just run the conduits here. Um, boom, boom, boom. That should be fine. Uh, I'll bring some more glass to fill this up, and then we'll probably need some pipe seal to uh, seal this stuff off. Um... Yeah, I'm also, I don't think we need this electrolyzer here, but we'll keep it here for now. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just keep it here. There's, there's no real harm in having it, I guess. Um, see if we can get in. There we go. Okay, so this guy's powered up. It says empty. Um, so you know what? We might actually need to put oxygen in here. Too sure. Honestly, yeah, I'm not too sure. We might also be able to get away with putting a just an oxygen tank here, in which case we could have them filled up up there, and then uh, item piped down here, because I've actually forgotten. Did this... Um, what am I trying to say? Did the uh, oxygen actually go in there? I don't actually remember what happened last episode, so let's run this uh, down there. Can I just place it? Yeah, there we go. Um, did this work? I don't, I don't quite recall. Um, click this. Oh. Right click it. Extract always active. Um, so that should have extracted the oxygen. It did. And it actually placed it in here. Okay, so it, it did go in here. So this is good. Um, okay. Um, let me check something else as well. Let me go in controls and search advanced. Uh, search in category. Is there a way to see... Yeah. Advanced rocket... RCS. Not sure what that means. I was trying to see if there was a way to toggle on the um, the user interface that shows up when you put on a spacesuit. So if you remember in the past, um, obviously we've still got this oxygen bar, but you also used to have uh, symbols up the top here. And I think they, I think if you wear them in space, it tells you, um, what does it tell you? <laughs> it tells you that w whether or not the air is breathable. Like, so whether or not there's air outside. Um, that's fine for now. We're going to need, yeah, we'll have to go back and get some glass, some sealant. And some other things. <laughs> some other things, I say. Very vague. Here at Dewstream, we, we like to be nice and vague. Um, let's turn our jetpack off. Okay, so. 
Let's search um, pipe sealant. I'm pretty sure it's a thing from advanced rocketry, this stuff. Um, let's see how this works. Um, I'm not sure how much we'll need, so we'll grab four. Surely that's enough. Um, next, we need some glass, so we'll grab some uh, grey bordered glass, because I think that's what we're using. Um, next on the list, what was it? Ah, the cartridges. Here we go. Do we have iron sheets? No. So we're going to need some iron plates, which we have nine of. We need six per, so we, we actually do need a little bit more. Um, so let's grab, let's just grab some iron. That should be fine. Okay. Now, we do need a rolling machine, so we will have to head over here. Boom, boom, boom. We'll lag over here, is, is what I meant to say. Um, by the way, my plan is, this building will stay, because I actually really enjoy the look of this. The silo can stay, that thing can stay. Um, so we can have that in the overworld. I'm going to probably move majority of these things. So we'll probably move just about everything inside of here. Um, as well as definitely the machines. That's what we'll do in another episode. We'll, we'll move all those stuff. Um, and then some other things like um, all this junk. We'll probably clear. And we'll put them in a different dimension maybe. Um, so so that's, that's just the plan that I've got in my head. Um, rolling machine. Rolling machine. That's this guy, isn't it? Yeah, this is the rolling machine. So, um, assuming we need six plates, six sheets per, we have that. I think we need three more. So, if we put three into the input hatch, they should get rolled and flattened. Perfect. And then we should also be able to place the plates in here. And then we should be able to chuck it a little, little speed up. That should be good. We should see them fly through. Then in this one, yeah, we get the iron sheets and the iron plates. Uh, buddy? <laughs> not sure what that's about. Alright, it's almost done. Right, it should almost be done. Uh, we do have to throw the iron plates we're about to get back in the system as well. So we should get another one. There we go. Perfect. Throw these back in. They should shoot through. And we should get 12 iron sheets. So, 9 and 3. Perfect. Um, I guess we can bring this with. I don't think we need it. Mm, we'll bring it with. Why not? Um, and that should be everything. If my under... Uh, no, wait. We didn't actually craft uh, the cartridges. <laughs> um, we need two of these. Boom, boom, boom. Place the sheets. Boom. Um, so I'm not 100% sure if you need two. But in the video I watched, they used two. So, so we're going to go with that and, and see how it works. Um, I assume it's a situation where you can probably add multiple on like either side or something like that. Um, as many as you want, I guess. So, we put the cartridge scrubbers in here, the collection cartridges, right? That works fine. Let's place pipe sealant. All right. Oh, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't think that's what we want. Um, not, sh not too sure how it works, to be honest. Let's see, let's do a test real quick. Can I, like, place a pipe? No. Okay. Pipe seal. Let's do at advanced, then search pipe. See, it's a pipe sealant. This mod in itself doesn't actually have any piping. So I was curious as to how it interacts. Do I combine it with an item? No. Seem to at least. So here's the sealant. Pipe seal. Um, does it tell me what it's used in? You make clay out of it. Um, pipe seal. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem to let me, like, place it here and, and clog it up. Um, what if we place it and, like, wrench it or something? Right-click it, shift-right-click it. Oh, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. We can, however, uh, clog this and this up. That's a little bit helpful. I don't think that's good enough, though. Right? Oxygen trace. Oxygen. Cartridge. Oop. Cartridge. Um, we can do a little test. Yep, that didn't work. <laughs> and now I've got slowness. Um, okay. Got oxygen. What if I put a tank in here? Oh, it needs a redstone signal. That's, that's the missing component. That's the missing piece. We need to get a lever. And then it might work. Then we might have everything. Fingers crossed. Wait for our system to turn back on. Oh, this is very bad. Do we have a milk bucket? That would be brilliant if we had a bucket of milk. We have a... We have bottled milk. Oh, it stopped anyway. Okay, we're good. Get a lever. Boom, boom. A lever, a lever. How do you guys pronounce it? 
Uh, I usually go between the two. But whichever I feel is more entertaining. <laughs> um, so we'll place a lever here. Mm, I should be able to place it here, right? Because doesn't the redstone pulse, like, travel through? No? Guess not. Oh, listen. Wait, wait. Did you hear that? Okay, so I think they each need a redstone signal, but if I put it on this single one, it triggers both of them. Right? No. Oh, yes. But it was just delayed. Okay. So if I place it here, does that turn on the other one too? Let's see. We're going to give it a few seconds because apparently we've got some delay going on. Patiently wait. Okay. So they have a durability too. So we could probably just repair these somehow. Okay, yeah, look, that one's on. So this one over here is on as well at the moment. You can see because it's got like a blue effect on it. Which means this guy, I think should be on. Let's see if we turn, if we click that. I'm not too sure what the button did. I didn't, didn't learn that. Let's take the helmet off, see if we take damage. Hey, wait a minute. We're not taking damage. Even though there's this suspiciously large hole right here. <laughs> okay. So this works. This is this is working perfectly. That's on 64. This one's on 64 as well. We've done it. So we took a bit of damage there because our armor gives us extra health as well. So we didn't actually lose damage. We just lost the bonus. And this is perfect. Now I should be able to press this. Walk in here as well. Now, what happens when the door closes? I'm a little scared. We also don't have a... Okay, yeah, yeah, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Ooh. Okay, so... This area in here isn't connected because we have this door. Um, so we could get away with opening that door. And then that will fill up that area. Um, but <laughs> there you have it, I guess. Okay. You can see the, the food all getting used up. Um, okay. So it works. This works. Now we can uh, expand this room, make it massive. Um, and yeah, that works perfectly fine. See, my issue is when this is off, my armor seems to work perfectly fine. I, I don't seem to be able to see how much oxygen I have, right? Like I've been using this since, since we put it on. I didn't charge it up any time in between. I can't tell if this oxygen bar at the bottom is going down or up either. Um, so we kind of don't even need this setup, but I thought I, it, you know, it's kind of fun to set it up, right? Because however we're doing it might actually be a bit cheaty. And, and obviously I, I don't want to do that. Uh, I'm thinking as well, it's possible that somehow this golden heart is like repairing it. You know what I mean? Like somehow the oxygen counts as a durability. I'm not sure on that. I, I might be wrong. We might run out of oxygen at some point in our internal tank. But yeah, this seems to work great. Now we have this. This is working over the clock, non-stop. And that uh, is fueling this guy with oxygen. And yeah, that's perfect. What this does mean as well is with this setup, obviously I can survive here, but animals can't. So if we actually set this up uh, in an animal farm in space, which could be pretty fun, um, the animals would be able to survive. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's pretty fun. Um, what I'm going to do actually is go grab a builder. So this guy's still on. Beautiful. Let's get a, a nice cyclic builder. Um, one of these bad boys, a structure builder. Um, what can we put away? We can put away a few things. Um, this, this. We won't put the glass away yet. In fact, we're probably going to use the glass. Um, that's probably why we won't put it away yet. Um, we'll grab the glass. And that should be good. Uh, do I need another... I guess I can use the power that's up there. Hmm, can I? I probably can't. Let's get another flux point. Flux point. We're going to have to make one probably. That's fine. No biggie here. Alright, back we go. Back to space. Back to the space. Um, I'm a little upset that there's not a, a quest line for the space station. I feel like that would have been uh, fun. Um, because the planets are really cool, but it, it's like they completely skipped the uh, the space station. It would have been nice to learn about how to do it myself with it, like within the mod um, mod pack without having to look elsewhere. So that that's probably my one complaint. 
I, I, I'm probably full of complaints there, but looking at it from hindsight, from where I'm at now, as difficult it was, as it was to make the chemical reactor, I thought it was good because the, the space should really be like an end game thing. In my opinion, it should be like, once you have everything else set up, you should be able to then be like, now we go to space. Um, and then you get even later game stuff from like, you know, the space materials. I, I think that's pretty fun. Um, these work pretty well. You know, um, I followed them through, it, it got there. It would have been nice if the chemical reactor um, maybe even had a sub uh, prerequisite where I had to go through in like some, uh, one of these sections and I had to like follow a quest line for let's say like um, industrial foregoing or something or, you know, one of the mods that was required to get the, um, the chemical reactor it would have been nice if a prerequisite to unlocking it was to do the other things. Um, because I had to do them anyway. So it would have been nice to have something holding my hand as I did them. Uh, and then once again, yeah, just the space station because that's pretty fun. Um, yeah. And, and maybe satellites because uh, from watching other videos, there's a whole bunch of things about satellites, but I don't know how they work. And I'd have to watch a video to learn how they work because this doesn't really tell me. Um, so that's another little little pet peeve, I guess. Let's uh, go out here. Oh, oh. All right. Um, wait for that to, I guess it doesn't really need to shut. Um, so the plan is, if I open this guy up, have him open, we can come in here, we can place this guy, oh, no, I actually want it to be placed the other way. So I guess we didn't actually have to open this guy up. Um, we'll place this here. Um, now, I, I'm a fan of domes. <laughs> um, we could do like a cup thing. It's not really effective though. We could do a space pyramid. That could be pretty fun. Um, now, the problem is, space is dark. And so, the render that's previewed, we can't actually see. Do you, do you see this? It, like, it exists, but we just can't really see it. Um, so, hmm. I do like the idea of having a pyramid right in the center. Um, so, let's have it here. Is that the bottom? That is the bottom. So, I'm, I'm fine with that. Let's do... Um, Let's see, so what, what, X puts it what way? X puts it backwards. So we actually just want to do like this, right? So that's put it all the way over there. We can't see it, obviously, because it's pitch black out here. Um, you know what I can actually do? I think if I up my render distance, it's no longer pitch black for some reason. And then we can actually see it. Ah, okay, there we go. That's a little cheatsy way to do it, I guess. Let's um open up this guy and increase the size. And have it like a... Uh, just this massive pyramid. Is this overkill? Maybe, but I think it will look cool. And I, and I feel like that's somewhat outweighs whether it's <laughs> worth it or not. Um, what are our other options? Yeah, we've got pyramid on. We could change the height. Um, so the height, what does the height actually do? Too sure. Height on 20. I don't think it's actually changing anything. I think maybe it's for different types of builds. For the pyramid, it must not do anything. Um, so we'll lower this down. What does it look like at zero or at one? Yeah, I don't think it looks any different. So that's fine. Um, this should be perfect, right? Nice and symmetrical, I think. Um, what else do we have? We have number of times to rotate the block for stairs and such. Okay. So yeah, we, we don't need to worry about that because we're just going to be using a single block. Now, do we make this out of glass? Is that something cool to do? Have it a, be a nice glass thing, or do we make it out of, like, marble? What are we thinking? Um, oh, that's a tough one. I was going to just make it out of glass. Um, hmm. Yeah, I really can't think. Uh, what, what would look cool? Because we'd obviously have a nice marble floor. We would have the... um, Yeah, and then we would have the, the glass so that we could look at the space. And that looks beautiful, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely what we do. I, I, I doubted it for, for a second or two, but here we go. So we're going to need more glass, that's for sure, because uh, I think you'll see this will be used up very quickly. Um, and we'll slap this guy down here, put him onto any network should work now. And as you can see, the glass is being placed. And I'm actually going to go back and start making more um, more glass, because we do need more. So hmm, how can we do this? Is there a way to automate glass in this mod pack? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there is, but ooh. Ran to the distance. Forgot about that. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, here we go. Um, okay, so. You know what? That would actually be a nice um, a nice addition if there was like a mod where 
it would change the um the the render distance or, or something like that. I'm not not too sure how you would do it. Not like um how you would even set it up. Maybe um maybe a block that it detects when you walk over it and it changes your render distance. I can yeah, and then I could put it in front of the door so it would lower it before I go in or it would raise it before I go in. Um and it changes the setting. That's interesting. Like a weird color. Oh, it's because it's nighttime, perhaps? Ew, what is that noise? You guys hear that? That sounded disgusting. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so glass, <laughs> glass, glass, glass. Um, we actually do have not got a lot of sand. I was about to say we have a lot of sand, but we really don't. We have 132 sand. Okay. How do we get more? Um, okay. Dried sand and water. Interesting. We could use fire essence and dirt essence. Interesting recipe. We could crush sandstone. We actually do have a lot of sandstone, so that's a possibility. And I think you can crush... Um... So you can crush gravel into sand, and I think you can crush... Oh, oh, okay. Wait, wait. We have it automated. In here. Perfect. And this guy is hooked up with a storage bus. So I think what I could get away with doing is if I got a drawer... This is going to be horrific. You guys are going to hate this. Um, actually, I think any of these drawers should work. Basic drawer. Oh, am I not allowed to take these guys out? This one worked. Nothing in it? Nope, there is stuff in it. Okay, well... What? Why is there stuff in it? You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna break this, it's gonna go over, and I'll just chuck it in the ME system. Oh, I was about to grab my axe. It just popped out anyway. I thought you needed to seal these. I guess not. Um, so I'll just make a brand new uh, drawer. That's fine. I'm going to get a drawer. And I'm going to hook up um, a like export bus to export from the network into here. So we'll place this guy here. We'll get... Um, I'm not sure which type we need. So we'll look. Um, import bus. Um, import bus. Does it tell me what it does? Because one of them, like, imports from something to something, right? Fluid imports. So, yeah, this imports from that into the network. So, it imports into the network. We want to export out of the network. Network. Export. Export bus. Perfect. So, we're going to want to put a sand in here to begin with. Let's grab a, a sand. Oh, not a sab, but a sand. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Place sand in here. Place this guy here. Um, it looks like we need some Fluix cables. So let's search for Fluix. Ooh, and we do have to worry a little bit about connections. What's connected off of here? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. So it's already got eight, right? One, two, three. Is there anything even? Uh, we can get rid of this guy. There we go. That solves that problem. <laughs> um, oh, perfect. There we go. Um, this should be fine now. And we've got our cables, and we hook the cable up here. And this guy had 32. Remember that, just in case it changes while we're not looking. Place this stuff away. Place this stuff away. Um, storage bus. Uh, I guess we do need a storage bus, actually. Storage um, bus. Um, which means I'm probably going to need another Fluix cable, which I'll just put away. Um, I think we need a storage bus. So I think I need to do that. Do. So it still only has 32. So let's open this guy up. Um, not too sure how he works, to be honest. Export bus. Um, where else would we have an export bus that we could check this out? Um, I would have assumed on the block placer, but we just used this instead of like a, an export bus. Um, have we used an export bus ever? I'm trying to think, what would we have used it on? Um, I'm thinking maybe we haven't. But I don't actually know how it works. 
Uh, let's search at applied and then search um, export. Okay, so these ones can be used in export buses. That, that's my understanding. Um, so capacity crafting, fuzzy redstone acceleration. Okay. Um, I would have thought that would work. Because I'm thinking like, do I need to put a, an, an import thing that takes this out of the network? Um, why is there a Lapatron crystal in here? What? Oh, wow. Because it has a storage bus attached. The network's like, well, this store stuff. So I'll put it in there. That's where our crystals have been disappearing to, I think. Right? What's this guy? This is an import bus. This imports latex into the system. I cannot believe that. That is phenomenal. Um, huh. Okay. Material process. Yeah, this is on everything. Okay, so what if I have this um, on the upside? Let's, um, how are we gonna do this? Storage bus. Can I change the priority? Priority. Okay. Um, that should be good, right? This has a higher priority, which means that um, they should prioritize storing things in here. If, uh, say, sand goes into the network, that's my understanding. Um, in this guy, he doesn't have a similar setup. A little bit upsetting. Um, but I think I might be able to just... Here, let's... I think I can get rid of this. I can grab an import bus. Import bus. Um, so one of these bad boys. We can slap this guy on the top here. Storage bus. Let's actually move these around. Um, let's move the storage bus on top. And hook up the cables like that. And then hook up an import bus. And see if that works. So 35 sand. Let's see. <laughs> so far, not looking too good. Import bus. You can try with an export bus now. You know what? Um, let, let's have a look inside here. So what's it taking out? It's taking out the cobble, I think. Which is obviously what we don't want. Um, so I think what I can get away with is turning off all these. Turning off all these. And now it will take the sand out. Wait, why are we taking the sand out? We should just be taking out the glass. Right. <laughs> we should just be taking out the glass. This guy should be glass. Um, here we go. Okay, so it was working. Look, we've got 45 sand in there. Let's um, let's grab all that out. Yeah, and put glass in. Perfect. There we go. That's set up. It's horrific, but it's set up. Now, the problem is this guy isn't getting any cobble. Um, so we need to figure out how to get cobble in here. I assume it's coming from below. So let's let's see if that's the case. Um, so down, let's turn that on. Is that getting it some cobble? Oh, I don't, I don't think it is. Um, also, it doesn't seem to be getting power anymore. So I'm not too sure how this system was even set up to begin with. So let's head down here. Um, where is it? Here it is. Yeah, how was this guy getting cobble to begin with? Not a clue. Let's um, get a cobble gen. Um, and I believe they auto output. I hope they auto output. Um, we don't actually have the technology for this. Um, no, I think this guy makes cobble, doesn't he? He makes cobble with just power. Right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So actually, all we need to do is have this guy. Wait, wait, wait. wait. How, how am I stuck down now? <laughs> We're almost done. Um, so what we want is, this guy I think already outputs to the left. Um, so let's have all of them, what do I want? I want all of them to output. And then this top side I want to input. And then this guy should get power. I think he's getting power, I don't think he's getting enough power. Um, this guy's only doing 5,000. Is that the limit? Um, yeah, I think it's limit. So let's actually just break this, pick up this, place this. 
There we go. That takes care of that issue. This guy's up and running, which means he's going to be making cobble, which means he's then going to be making glass. I think all we need now is speed upgrades in this guy. Industrial 4 going. Let's search um, at industrial and search speed. Nope. Um, what upgrades do we have here? There's range. I don't think we want range. There's um, an energy field thing. Leaf shearing. Item stack transfer. I don't think that's what we want. Um, fluid transfer and fortune. Um, we could slap a fortune in there. I don't think it would work. You know what I think? At Tesla. I think Tesla adds stuff. I think these things actually work in these machines. Does it look like it's going faster? Let's see. Is it keeping up? 22... 24, 25, 26. Okay, so it's barely keeping up, but it is keeping up. So in the grand scheme of things, this will outdo how much we're taking out of it. Yeah, yeah, it's slowly but surely filling up. That is perfect. We're actually getting glass. Completely automated. Brilliant. Okay, perfect. How much uh, power is this draining? 7,000. Nice, nice, nice. Um, so what that means is we have glass now. Um... Now, how can we get glass to space? Well, actually, no. We, we actually need to take this glass. Um, look, we might as well do it in this episode. We're going to grab these guys, an item conduit. Yeah, we could do an item extraction table. Um, I'll grab a few. Um, and we want to get this guy to go into the auto chiseler, which is currently... I don't... I don't currently know why it's here. But I guess it is. Let's uh, see if we can pick this guy up. Yeah, made a nice mess. Um, we want to put this guy over here. Um, what is Isla? Place this guy here, perhaps. Extract this, put it in here. Working perfectly. We want it to be glass bordered like that. Um, it doesn't seem to accept inputs from that side, however. So we're going to have to um, pick this guy up again. Perhaps place him a different way. We're also going to clear our inventory a little. This is getting a bit crazy. Boom, boom, boom. Nah, we probably put away things that we didn't really want to, but that's fine. Um, auto chisel? What does that do? Ah, right, that puts it in the right spot. There we go. Then we place this here. We um, put the extra glass in. We place our little block here. A little uh, diamond chisel that's almost going to break, but that's fine. And it should chisel me entire blocks. Now, this is without any power. Well, I didn't actually know that it works without power. Um, the alternative is we hook it up with power and it's a lot faster. Um, but we're not really making it faster, so there's not... Okay, so that works. Um, in between the next few episodes, I guess we'll slowly grab some glass. We'll head over to our base dimension. And we'll, we'll chuck it in here. And we'll get a building. Ooh, it's looking beautiful. So we'll chuck our glass in here. And it'll just slowly build away. How cool is that? Good build across here. Beautiful. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing. Um, we, we have made it to 1,000, which is absolutely unreal. Um, opens up a lot of avenues for my channel, which is... Uh, great for me and and hopefully great for the channel which means you know subsequently great great for you hopefully i'll be able to um upgrade my computer soon <laughs> that, that's my main goal well, well i mean my main goal is you know being able to survive <laughs> and, and then and then we'll uh try and upgrade some things um so next episode what i'm hoping on doing is actually uh moving some things around now i'm not too sure where where and how I want to do things. I, I was thinking about it last night while I was lying in bed. And I was like, we do need to fix things. We need to move things around and and all that sort of things. Now, I've heard there is a way to actually uh, move our, our applied energistics network into another dimension. And it's with um, quantum bridges. Um, where is it? Quantum, quantum rings. Yeah, quantum ring and you get a link chamber. So, you, oh, okay. And then, all right. What do these cost? That's not too bad. This is a little scarier, but I don't think it's too bad either. No, this is actually... 
Yeah, this is all doable. Okay. And what's this guy? To create drop one singularity and one ender dust, cause an explosion within range of the items. Okay. Yeah, I think I think we can actually do it. I, I assume that's what we need. All right. So next episode, we could try that out. Um, what that means is we could put our applied energistics network like in a compact machine, or we could put it in a different dimension, or we could leave it here, and in another dimension, we could have access to it. So the first step would be having access in um in our space station. That would be pretty cool. As well as in our uh, other dimension, uh, this guy through here. That would be wonderful. Now, a big thing with this dimension is I don't want it to become the laggy mess that the overworld is, right? I want this to be beautiful. I want it to run smoothly. And what that means is we either have to limit what we put in this dimension or we have to space it out big time. Um, so we could do that. We could have just like incredibly long corridors. And then I think what we're able to do is like we could either, you know, teleport between them with dimensional doors. And, and it should be somewhat seamless because we're not going through dimensions. So we could have just like a door here that looks like it, you know, goes into the next room and feels like it goes into the next room when really it goes like miles in another direction. So that sounds fun. And I might actually do that. Um, another thing though is I kind of like the idea of all these like fancy corridors and stuff. So we could have one extremely long corridor and then have like a speed boot or something like that. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. Like we could get... um. Something that moves us really fast, like we, maybe like a super fast conveyor belt. Like, look at these guys, a cyclic conveyor belt that does speed 32. No idea what that means, but if it's fast, it might be worth it. Um, so yeah, we, we, we do have quite a few options in, in what we can do. It's just a matter of deciding what we're going to do. So, oh, it's a lot of work as well. I'm, I'm trying to think because as soon as this episode ends, I'm going to, I guess, try and record the next episode. Not too sure what I'm gonna do. Um, I guess we could start by moving this stuff into the other dimension. Oh yeah, uh, you, you know what we'll do? Next episode, I'm gonna try and set up a quantum ring to bring this network into our other dimension. So access to it. And from there, then we can uh, bring this guy over and we can, I don't know, we'll, we'll have access to a lot more things, a lot more options, I think. So. Yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.